Hello. We continue our study in the book of Acts, chapter 6, and where we left off, a Stephen was just appointed the duty of uh, taking care of the widows in the daily distribution among some other people. But we wonder, what happened to Stephen? Was he just doing this? Was he just waiting on tables? Or was he doing other things? You see, this is interesting because the Lord doesn't just call his, the servants of the church to do one thing. No, he has given us the gifts of the Spirit. To some people, he has given one gift, but to many people, many Christians, he has given many gifts of the Spirit. And as we see here, Stephen received more than just one gift. Our reading for today is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 6, verses 8 through 15. The title of this text is Stephen is Seized. And Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, and of the Cyrenians, and of the Alexandrians, and of those from Cilicia and Asia, rose up and disputed with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he was speaking. Then they secretly in instigated men who said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes. And they came upon him and seized him and brought him before the council. And they set up false witnesses who said, This man never ceases to speak words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses delivered to us. And gazing at him, all who sat in the council saw that Stephen's face was like the face of an angel. So far, our text. Now it's interesting here because many people would think that since the Lord gave gifts to Stephen, that they would want him to be able to give women, help them with the distribution, and also teach people about Jesus. And Stephen was doing this. He was doing this great. But then people rose up against him. They lied about him. So what would happen? Why wouldn't God intervene? Now, as these people were shooting accusations of Stephen, they looked at him and his face was like the face of an angel. Amazing. What was God going to do now through Stephen? I'll see you next time. God's blessings.